Today, I'm going to show you how to live stream funerals in the easiest way possible. The whole setup is going to take you less than five minutes. I'll tell you exactly what you need and how to make sure your live stream looks and sounds great. The result is going to look like this. So first, you need a smartphone or a tablet. Next, you're gonna need a small light stand or a tripod with the phone or tablet mount. And you'll also need internet connection, either Wi-Fi or mobile data. You will also need a live streaming app, and today we're gonna be focusing on Event Live, which is a better alternative to Facebook or YouTube. And this is all you need. Modern phones and tablets have really good cameras and microphones, so they're perfect for live streaming funerals. The first step is to install Event Live on your phone or tablet, create an account, and next schedule your event. You'll just need to enter the name of the event, the date, and the time and you're all set to go. After you create your event, you can add links to the obituary or donation pages, or you can also add pinned message to the guest book with timeline or welcome message. All you have to do next is just share the link with family and friends. You can also add this link to the obituary page. For the viewers, they will only need the link to watch the event, no signups or downloads. Funeral page will look like this. At the top, you can add your own logo, change the cover photo to the picture of the deceased, or add a slideshow. On the right, guests will be able to add messages to the tribute wall. On the day of the event, try to arrive early so you can run some free tests to make sure you're all set for the event. Check the signal. If it has good signal in the app, you're all good to go. When you're ready, choose the event in the app and hit Go Live button. Next, tap the red record button and you're live. Guests will receive automatic notifications via email that the event started. So we usually recommend to begin the live stream about 10 minutes early so they have a chance to join. You can pause and restart the stream in case you need to move to different location. The recording will be saved directly to your phone and event live servers in the cloud, and you will be able to download the video after the event. So now we're going to talk about some tips for live streaming funerals. First, the placement of the phone or tablet. Please make sure you position it somewhere where there's going to be no one blocking the camera. Also think about the audio. If there is no sound system in place or microphone, you might want to bring it closer to the person speaking. Remember to charge your batteries. Also check the storage on the device that you're going to be using to make sure the recording is saved directly to the tablet or your phone. Backups are always recommended. Technology fails, so having another tablet or phone will definitely help. Live streaming doesn't have to be complicated. Try Event Live app, run a free test, and see how simple it is to start the live stream. If you like this content, subscribe to our channel and like this video. If you have any questions, drop a comment below and we'll be happy to answer it. You can also visit eventlive.pro for more resources on live streaming. See you soon!